Okay, um, in this video, we're going to look at uh, derivatives of uh, uh, trigonometric functions. Um, it's uh, part two uh, of uh, a uh, two-part series. Uh, if you haven't uh, looked at part one, we strongly advise that you do so, because this is building uh, on the material we covered in part one. The level of uh, this video is going to be uh, a bit higher than what we covered in part one. So again, we're going to start with uh, the derivative formulas of uh, the six trigonometric functions. So uh, derivative of sine is equal to cosine. Uh, all the formulas will have the du dx because of the uh, chain rule because we're uh, imagining that u is a function of x so we're differentiating this thing with respect to x so we're always going to be multiplying by du dx in another video that we will post the link off um, we actually um, did a derivation uh, to show that uh, the derivative of sine is indeed cosine uh, derivative of uh, cosine is negative sine derivative of tangent is a second squared and then for the inverse trigonometric functions are uh, not inverse i mean uh, these are like the reciprocals of these uh, so derivative of uh, the reciprocal of sine is cosecant cotangent negative derivative of secant is secant tangent and the derivative of cotangent is negative cosecant. All right, so let's see how we can use these formulas to derive, to differentiate uh, the following functions. So in A, we have got uh, y equal to sine of uh, 2x plus pi. So um, by uh, that uh, chain rule, the derivative of sine is cosine so when we differentiate uh, the sine we keep this exactly as it is then now we're going to multiply by the derivative of this function and that is going to be two okay then in uh, part b we have got uh, tangent uh, 3x to the power of 4 uh, just note that uh, uh, this is actually tangent 3x then to the power of 4. But uh, for brevity, we typically write it like that. So that means in this case, the outer function is the power of 4. Then there is uh, an... Uh, intermediary function tangent and then there is an inner function so we're going to use the chain rule uh, at uh, three levels so first if we differentiate the power so we we'll multiply by four and uh, then subtract one so the new power here is going to be three so differentiating that outer, outer function which is the power of four is now achieved then next we're going to differentiate tangent so we've just seen that uh, derivative of tangent is secant squared and then lastly we're going to differentiate 3x this is going to give us 3 then of course uh, um, 3 times 4 is going to be 12 so this thing is going to be 12 uh, tangent cubed 3x secant squared 3x then going to see we've got sine x cosine x um, so this one I'm going to do it using two methods the first method we're just going to use uh, um, um, differential derivative formulas uh, so we've got sine x cosine x and then in the second method we're going to first rewrite this using uh, trigonometric identities so here we are going to uh, just use the product rule 
so if we differentiate this we're going to keep this one fixed the derivative of sine x is cosine x so we keep the second one fixed then and now we're going to keep sine x fixed derivative of cosine is negative sine x so this is going to be cosine squared x minus sine squared x from your trigonometric identities you will recall that this is simply cosine of 2x now in the second uh, method we are first going to rewrite sine x cos x so we notice that this is very much um, close to the definition of sine 2x so we know sine 2x is 2 sine x cosine x so we bring if we bring the 2 to the left hand side then 1 half sine 2x is uh, sine x cosine x so that means what we have as y here is actually one half sine 2x so now we can <clears throat> differentiate this using chain rule so um, we have the half derivative of sine is cosine then derivative of 2x is 2 and this again gives us cosine 2x right uh, then continuing to example d so in d we've got uh, sine squared cosine cubed so we have got uh, sine squared x cosine cubed x so here we are simply going to apply the product rule okay so the derivative so if you just differentiate this one so we'll bring down two we we'll subtract one then derivative of sine is cosine so that's just the derivative of sine of course we keep this one fixed then in the second term we keep sine squared fixed now we differentiate the cos cubed so we multiply by 3 we subtract 1 then derivative of cos is negative sine okay then if we <clears throat> remove the brackets it's going to be 2 sine x cos sine x to the power 4 uh, minus 3 sine cubed x times cosine squared x we could leave it like that i am going to factor out the common factors so sine x is common and cosine squared is common so we're going to have uh, left here 2 cosine squared x minus 3 sine squared x this if we like we could write in terms of just one function either sine or cosine but i'm going to leave it like that so that was example d in example number e we have got y is equal to uh, where is example e uh, lean of cosine 2 theta so lean of cosine 2 theta so again here we're going to use the chain rule first we differentiate the lean derivative of the lean is just the reciprocal of the input function input function here is cosine 2 theta then derivative of cos is negative sine then derivative of 2 theta is 2 and then if we simplify this is going to be negative 2 sine 2 theta divided by cosine 2 theta this of course you can write as negative 2 tangent 2 theta 
So, and then in F, we have um, Y equal to sine theta, all divided by 1 plus cosine theta. <clears throat> so, for this one, we're going to have to use the quotient rule. So, if we let U be equal to sine theta, then U prime is going to be cosine theta. Let V be 1 plus cosine theta. Then V prime is going to be the negative of sine theta. And then Y prime, which is going to be U prime V minus u v prime all over v squared. So this is going to give us uh, u prime is cosine theta. V is 1 plus cosine theta. And then minus u is uh, sine theta. u v prime is negative sine theta all divided by 1 plus cosine theta all squared. Then removing the brackets, um, cosine theta times 1 is cosine. Then cosine theta times cosine theta is cosine squared theta. And then in the second term, this negative and negative is going to give us a plus. We're going to have plus sine squared so in the denominator we still have one plus cosine all squared now um, notice that uh, this term group of terms here this is just equal to one so what we uh, can do what we will do is we will write this as one plus cosine theta all over one plus cosine theta all squared. And then, of course, um, this is going to cancel out with one of those. And so our final answer is going to be 1 over 1 plus cosine theta. All right, uh, we're now going to give you a few to try on your own. All right, <clears throat> so please have a go at these ones. Uh, in um, G, we've got x cos x minus sine x. In H, we've got sine theta to the power 4 plus cosine theta to the power 4. In I, we've got secant theta times tangent theta. In J, we've got lean of cotangent to theta. In K, we've got cot cosine theta over 2 minus sine theta. Right, so just have a go. These uh, can pause the video, and then when you continue, um, then you can compare with our answers. All right, um, we are now going to scroll down to our solutions. Um, so for G, we have got uh, a product uh, in the first term. So I want to use the product rule for this term here. So if we differentiate uh, x, we get 1, keep this one fixed, plus then we keep x fixed and differentiate cosine, which gives a negative sine. Then derivative of minus sine is just minus cosine. Then you're going to notice that this term and that term cancel out. So the answer for this is just minus x sine x. For H, we're going to use uh, the chain rule for each of the terms. So if you multiply by 4, subtract 1, and derivative of sine is cos. Do the same thing for this one, we get this term here. So now for this group of terms, 4 is common, sine cos is common. So if we factorize, we're going to have sine squared minus cosine squared here. Now we notice that this is the negative of cosine 2 theta. But at the same time, this one is 2 times sine 2 theta. 
so we'll write them like that so this negative 2 times sine 2 theta cos 2 theta but uh, this is sine 4 theta no negative still okay so the final answer is going to be negative sine 4 theta uh, in i again we're going to use the uh, product rule derivative of secant is secant tangent we keep this fixed plus then now we keep uh, this one fixed derivative of tangent is secant squared so we have got secant tangent squared plus secant cubed if we write this in terms of uh, secant then uh, simplify uh, this is going to give us our answer entirely or exclusively in terms of secant for j um, if we differentiate lean then we get one over cot two theta derivative of cot negative cos secant this is two theta here then derivative of two theta is uh, two and so if we write this in terms of sine and cosine going to be sine theta actually this is just tangent so sine theta 2 theta over cos 2 theta this is uh, 1 over sine squared 2 theta and so this is going to cancel with one of those and so we have got that now we notice here that uh, uh, if there was a 2 here if there was a 2 here then this would be sine 4 theta so we will plug in the 2 there and so our final answer is going to be negative 4 sine 4 theta uh, this time we use the quotient rule and so if we go through all the uh, steps uh, we're going to get ourselves uh, to this step whereby we know that this is equal to 1 and so our final expression is going to be 1 minus 2 sine theta over 2 minus sine theta squared. This cannot be simplified any further. Right, uh, thanks for watching the video. Hopefully this is uh, helpful. Please do subscribe to support our channel. And uh, do make comments uh, at the bottom. Share with others, like the video. And uh, thank you very much.